Hello YouTube, this is HiHi2442, gonna show you how to make his cust my custom World War II, um, weapons. And also my custom World War II Airborne guy. All these weapons, except for the one weapon, is from Medal of Honor Airborne. And the one extra weapon's from, uh, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. So this is the German K98 Carbine. Just a bolt-action rifle, quite simple. And then the uh, American revolver or a revolver, the German Mosser or Luger, depends on the model. And then the American Colt 42 or whatever year it is. I don't know exactly. And then my ammo clips which are two, two black hands. Those were the one-piece guns. Now I'm going to show you the two-piece guns that I've made. And the one I'm about to show you is the, um, the Japanese one off of Middle of Autumn Rising Sun, which is just another one of those bolt-action rifles with a black hand placed like that for the ammo clip. And that's the Japanese T-99 large machine gun. Now the British Well Rod, which is uh, one of these agent guns, and then one of these um, Lego things, one of these, and you place it on like that till it's as far as it'll go. Then twist it until you get to those little notches on it, and you put it on like that. Any any shot with this gun, it's a one bullet gun, but every anywhere you shoot a guy. He'll be dead guaranteed because it's an assassin's gun, which is poison tipped. Then I'm gonna now I'm gonna show you the Sturmgur 44 or STG 44, which is one of these big Star Wars guns, just with a black ammo clip attached right near the handle. It looks like the AK-47, but it's not. Because the Sturmgurrs have scopes once you level it up on Middle of Honor Airborne. Now I'm going to show you the three part guns. I've only got one of those though. Which is the MP40. You'll need one of these. Um, one of these wrenches that are fully round. You'll attach it like that. Then you need one of these, which you'll put on. There. And then you push the wrench so it's holding both together, or else it'll fall apart really easily. It's not in the correct color, though. It's supposed to be in black, but I don't have black. Now I'm going to show you the six-piece guns, because I don't have any fours and five-piece guns. Oops, sorry. forgot to take this one apart before I started, because I was using it in another thing. So what you'll need is one of these Orient Expedition Rifles. Um, one of these things here, which you'll attach to the very end there. And this is the Gorer rifle off a uh, airborne. Um, which when you first get it, it's only got the ammo clip and the um, gun itself, not the scope. You get the scope when you level it up. The sec, the first time I think, and then the, well, the second time, and then the third time it can be used as a grenade launcher. Then you put it together like that, one of those long ones. Then you take a clear one of these little grenade pieces that most people use as grenades. You attach it to the end. And then you take a black hand and you attach it on the other side of the scope. And as you go a sniper rifle, it can be used without scope though. Now for the American recoilless rifle for those Medal of Honor fans. Took me a while to figure out how to build. Sorry, it's taking so long I've got to take it apart because I was using it. But, um, I'm almost done. There we go, just the moment. Let me get the pieces for you. You'll need one of these black guns or nozzles. Two of these things. And you'll attach them the best way that they hold on, which is those little, all those little holes on the very top, the top and bottom, like so. 
and then you attach it one to the other side, which will sometimes fall off. Then you need one of these, which you'll attach to where the handle is, not where the big hole is there, but where the handle is. Then you'll take a black one of those black grenade pieces and put it on there on the back side of the scope. And then you'll need two clear ones to do that too. And then Just a minute. There. There's the American Recoilless Rifle. It's pretty cool. And all these guns can be used with Lego men. Now is the last weapon, and now I'm going to show you my custom made um, German, I mean, American Airborne Man. So I'm just going to take up the Panzer Shrek apart, which I've made. Um, first what you'll need, oops, sorry, is one of these. All this is from the Agent Lego, so it's pretty easy to get. For me, oh, sorry, I just dropped the piece. And then you'll need five, five of these. And then you'll attach them, you'll attach two to the front and three to the back, like that, and then you take this, that's the main body of the bazooka over there, now for the scope, which you'll need one of these things, and then one of these, which you'll place like that, then you need that, You need two of the slanted ones. That's why it's my custom ones, not made like regular people, but make them. And then you put the clear one of those on there, make it like that. This can be used as right or left, and then you attach it like that. And that's what it should look like when you're done with it. If you have a black one, those handles will make it look way better. And then my custom made um, airborne man. Mo the legs are from a like city Christmas set a while back, and the body so is also from a while back, and then the backpack is from one of those new pirate sets with the British backpacks. You put it on for the uh, parachute, and then the head is from the one henchman agent guy. Doesn't matter. The head, though. Oops, sorry. Sorry, now you can see them better now. And then one of these just gray or black helmet, um, pilot helmet. Now, I don't know if you want to put goggles on them or not, but it doesn't really matter. I do. And then there he is. And then there he is, um, YouTube. Well, this is Hi Hi 2442 signing off.